What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge for another senior spotlight video as we highlight the magnificent career of Kenzie Hansen, K9. Before we get started, though, make sure you check out the Fan Stop, fanstop.com. Check out the amazing gear there at the Fan Stop, specifically the National Championship Sooner softball shirts. The links are in the description of this video. You will not be disappointed. Kenzie Hansen, guys. Uh, one of the greatest Sooners of all time, honestly, uh, had the extra year uh, as a Sooner and took full advantage of it uh, as far as her leading and leadership skills. And she's going to still be on campus at OU. And she's going to be a graduate assistant coach there on campus. And what a great one to have there on staff. But Kenzie Hansen, what a phenomenal career. People will remember a lot about Kenzie Hansen. One thing I specifically remember a lot about Kenzie Hansen is how many big time moments she had in the Sooner uniform. Yeah, I feel like with Kenzie Hansen, uh, you could ask somebody what their uh, most memorable moment of uh, big-time clutch moment from Kenzie Hansen, and uh, a lot of people would name a different one because there was just that many. Uh, for me, the one that sticks out the most is the game-tying home run. Uh, Sooners down to their final strike against uh, Clemson. Streak looking like it's going to come to an end, and uh, as Chris Plank said, uh, Kenzie Hansen sent the place into a frenzy uh, final game at Marina Hines as well. So uh, just one of the biggest uh, home runs hit in Oklahoma softball history. Well, it, it would seem like every year you'd be thinking, man, if Kenzie Hansen is, you look down, she's batting 400, 410. And, and you wouldn't even, it's almost like, either wasn't talked about or she was you didn't really realize she was hitting that good. And you look down, she's batting 415 or something. It was crazy. And the thing about Kenzie Hansen that I'll remember is I think you can go through the list of all the seniors, Jada Coleman, Alyssa Brito, we go right all Tiari Jennings, all of them. Kenzie Hansen to me, I think the word tough, and I think maybe a lot of them had energy, guys, where they were just really energetic, but Kenzie Hansen brought this kind of uh, uh, attitude a little bit. Even even this last year, guys, in the World Series, she's like, hey, I know we play our best when we get punched in the mouth. She's one that will say that kind of stuff. I think a lot of the other ones were energetic and try to get them pumped up, but Kenzie Hansen has that kind of tough mentality, maybe uh, blue-collar type mentality. It showed on the field and it showed off. And I think her leadership, I think that part of her leader, maybe the outspoken part, and maybe you saw in the offseason a lot in workouts, she held people accountable. She was really driving them to be better, to be stronger, to be in the in the weight room, whatever it was. I think she was a constant driver of that, guys. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned toughness. I mean, if there's a word that would describe Kenzie Hansen, and what she meant to this team, it was glue. Uh, she was the glue that kept this team together. And not that they were going to fall apart because they weren't. They had so many leaders. But uh, to me, that's what she was. I mean, I, look, they did lose a game she didn't play in uh, in that phenomenal year they had when the one loss. Uh, but one thing that even JT Gasso commented on in his kind of farewell uh, messages to each senior uh, when he spoke to Kenzie Hansen was her adversity that she had been through. I mean, she – she was banged up a lot, guys, and, and I think a lot of just the, including us maybe, don't really realize how much she battled through different small injuries. I mean, I even this year in the Women's College World Series, she got hit many times behind the plate and uh, just fought it off. And you know who, I, I think of Salvador Perez behind the plate for the Royals, and there's some of that. I mean, she is just so tough behind the plate. And we've talked a lot about off the field, Jay. You mentioned the nearly 400. Uh, uh, hit her uh, in her career. Another thing I want to mention is her freshman season, 2020, she started 22 games at first base. Uh, so it wasn't that she just played catcher. She could have done more. Uh, she was phenomenal behind the plate. One of the reasons you have to say that the pitching staff was so good, at least in my opinion, is because of who was behind uh, the plate there because uh, she really helped the pitchers out. Yeah, one of the best uh, defensive catchers, and then also at the plate, just a uh, career batting average of 390. That's ninth in Oklahoma history uh, over a five-year career for Hanson. Uh, 
the accolades just go on and on and on and on. I mean, most notably, Johnny Bench Award uh, last year, for which is given to the top catcher in the country. But the list just goes all, on and on. Uh, on the USA uh, women's uh, national team last year in Japan, uh, many first-team appearances over uh, the course of her career. And, I mean, it's going to continue with uh, – getting drafted in Athletes Unlimited, now going to the Oklahoma City Spark with a whole lot of other uh, familiar Sooner faces, uh, Jocelyn Allo, uh, Alex Taraka. The list just goes on and on and on uh, for the Oklahoma City Spark. And she's also going to be sticking around in Norman for one more year at least uh, as a graduate assistant, uh, starting her coaching career and uh, co- helping to coach up the, the next uh, Sooner catcher. Yeah, and you mentioned the pitching staff, guys. I mean, go back to the last game of her career. Five pitchers. Uh, she caught all five. And it that's – I think that sometimes is not talked about enough. There's a lot of times where catchers maybe have two pitchers that they majorly catch throughout the year. I mean, for the last two years, I mean, what is it, 10? I think over the last two-year period, nine or 10, that – on. Every other game was a different pitcher, and she did outstanding. I mean, the way she called the game, not only that, but just all of them had different pitches just to be on. Even in the World Series, you saw a few times uh, they bring another pitch in. It's almost like she got cross up, still blocks the ball. I mean, just unbelievable. Her defense, guys, her arm was underappreciated, I think. I think her arm was really good. Uh, She was aggressive, too. She would throw behind runners. I I love that part of Kenzie Hansen. Uh, But, you know, I think – you talk about Patty Gasso coach. I think Kenzie Anson is a coach on the field, and I think it showed throughout her career. She very steady, calming presence to the pitchers, but also can kind of, hey, when she needs to be stern or whatever, I think she was that. And uh, I, I remember about that. And the, probably the biggest thing I remember about Kenzie Hansen, every time she steps out of the plate. I mean, every time. Yeah, and hey, one other thing. While her home runs may have been down, go look at her career. Uh, you know, l- later in her career, her RBI stayed up. Yeah. Uh, so she was still driving in runs and doing a great job at the plate and behind the plate. I know everyone felt safe when Kenzie Hansen was either at the plate and behind the plate. Just a calmness about her. Thanks, Kenzie Hansen, for a great career. She'll be going into year six, guys, at OU as she's a coach next year. Yeah, Jay. Hey, real quick, I was going to ask you all your opinion. If there's one batter you want up, is, is she the one with the game on the line? I mean, I think a lot of student fans would say her. I mean, you can pick a lot of different ones, but she she was clutch. I mean, she came through in a lot of times, guys. She definitely has the clutch gene, and that's one thing a lot of Sooner fans will, will remember about Kenzie Hansen's playing days here at the University of Oklahoma. Thanks again to everybody for watching the videos and liking and commenting. And thanks to Kenzie Hansen for a phenomenal career. Make sure you check out the Fanstop, fanstop.com. You can use code SURGE for 10% off your first three months of the Shirt of the Month Club. And also check out the National Championship uh, T-shirts by Fanstop. Thanks again. Boomer. Junior.